Um, you supposed to be doing your work on the computer, not on your phone? Huh? Do your work. Girl, I do what I want. Not in my classroom, you yeah, won't. I do. You don't see me on my phone, y'all go watch some business. Calm me down, because you interrupting my I class. I ain't gonna do nothing for you. Can't help me. Well, I'm gonna need for you to either get off of your phone. Yeah. You even got, hold up, hold up, hold you up. got an option. Hold Ain't up. no hold up. I'm hold the up. teacher. Oh, get yeah, off yo. the phone. Yeah, yeah, we coming down there. Hold up. Yeah. Oh, wash yeah. your hands, y'all. Oh, 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 oh my God. Yo, keep your hands you need to get your phone out. Breaking news, a video has gone viral showing a fight between a staff member and a student at a local summer camp. The staff was badly injured and the student has been expelled from the program. Sources say this may have been gang related. The community is concerned is concerned today's youth are out of control. That video is a microcosm for a larger issue in this city, the issue of youth violence. People don't feel safe in their schools, homes, or communities. That's why we need to increase the police presence, get these people off the streets. Well, what about prison overcrowding? Well, we're working on a new state-of-the-art juvenile detention center to address that issue. We need to do something now, before it's too late. I do, I, I feel that um, because of the lack of things to do in the community that youth kind of look for alternative things and they may be the negative things like fighting or crime and things like that. But I don't think the youth want to focus on that. I really just think they need more to do. The reason why a lot of violence is going on is because people are not putting that time to the youth to, to give them the jewels, give them the proper history, give them the proper understanding of things that's going on in their surroundings, in their community, also within their own selves. I think youth violence is a terrible, terrible problem in the city. I think that it's taking away from so many of our young people. A lot of them end up getting put in a jail or hurt and they can't live up to their full potential. I think that the violence in the city is just really, really harming our young people. I would say it's a huge problem. And specifically what's going on right now, like they're shutting down a lot of rec centers and, and pools and stuff of that nature. And you know, they're still trying to build that youth prison. So it's like, Okay, you're shutting down all these programs that, that help out the youth, but at the same time, you're, you're spending $100 million to build a prison. It's, it's like a setup, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you can't really be surprised when there's a lot of crime going on and stuff of that nature. I think that we have way too many jails. I think that too much money is being put into the jails. I think that we should have more educational centers, more recreational areas, more recreational centers. I think that there should be more outlets for the young people as opposed to youth jails. The jails in Baltimore are overpopulated, and I feel as though that the younger, um, by, by putting children in jail um, at the young age, that only uh, perpetuates and continues that jail mindset. Um, if you're in the system when you're young, nine times out of ten you're going to be in the system when you're older. I feel like we need to start looking into some alternative methods for that. So, like, if you go to jail, yeah. a lot of the a lot of the youth in jail want to fight each other to prove something to to the older cats right. that's in there. And then when they come out, they still got that same mentality. So, all their problems are solved by fighting. They solved by knives. They solved by guns. They don't have no communication skills. You know, they don't have no business skills. So what they're going to do, they're going to do the same thing they did in there. They're going to hustle for a little bit of change. They're going to come out here and they're going to fight. So I think, I think jails are, are more in addition to the problem than the solution. Well, one of the biggest things that I like to do for my community, I love to teach, I love to tutor, and I think that education is a, is a, is a huge outlet for the youth. I think that it allows them to live to their full potential. If you have your education, you can go out and get a job and be a productive citizen. We have a real good connection with the youth. Uh, we help them get little odd end jobs, you know what I mean, doing different things, different tasks to keep them off the street. Uh, we, we, do the we do the chess demonstration with them, teach them how to play chess. Um, you know I mean, the problem solving, like, and hey, it's a family, so whenever the youth come in here, we help them with different things, how to further their life and how to, you know what I mean, map out their goals and things of that nature. And I feel like when you start to hit hit the root causes, that's how you affect change. And nobody seems to do that. So I think counsel, more counseling and more mediation 
and things like that. Just the only thing that can be done is raise awareness. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we got to reach the youth who are being targeted by, you know, us, you know, the city shutting down these rec centers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? If we don't reach the people who look just like me, you know what I'm saying, that they're young, that they have an impressionable mind, you understand what I'm saying? Like then, you know, it's, it's no hope. So we just got to keep pressing the message. I feel as though them closing down like raising centers is like them opening up more gang activities like when you shut down a recreation center or where kids can go like my age, we relate to other stuff like streets wise. So we go down there and we know people are gonna try to offend us or do stuff that hurt us. So we just protect ourselves. That's that's all we know. I don't think that they should close like rec centers and pools and stuff like that because it stop kids from like being being able to go to places and do stuff like they got to go in the corners or get into things and get in trouble because there's nothing for them to be there's nothing for them to do like during the day they think like building a, a new jail is going to help i mean that's not going to help either because once they get out of jail like, or if they ever get out of jail, because half the time they put them in there for life for something they didn't even really, that wasn't even that serious, or they, or they didn't even really do. And, but when they do get out, they feel that as though, like, crime is the only way, or that's the only answer, then they're just gonna keep doing it, and doing it over and over again. So I feel that as though they shouldn't build a new jail, they should keep the recreational centers and the pools open and just try to build, like, maybe make a program where it's like, they can help, 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 you know, youth and young people and all that. We talked to many people, did a lot of research, and found not only do more people want less jails and more positive stuff to do, but it works better. It makes you wonder, why is more money in Africa going towards jails than stuff we want? Youth of African descent in Baltimore City are suspended Spend it more often, arrest it more often, punish more often, punish more harshly, and incarcerated more often. And we were no safer as a result. Makes you wonder if they want to really solve the problem. Because to us, these are the things that work. Knowledge yourself. Strong parental involvement. More jobs. More recreation centers. More educational opportunities. M more mentors. More activities. More housing. And you know, I do got a message. I'll bust something real quick. Um, shoot. Times get hard, it's when the hustle is born. A small piece like a blossom into a wall. From B more to the Chi Town, BK and Phi, Illadelph now. How can I make my presence felt? Learn more, read paper so I stack my wealth. I absorb verbal blows under your skin like a belt up. The help felt the sorrow even know your fault. This whole world view that is diametrically opposed. So it's flip a bus. The sun ain't froze. It's been his first love. Not that strip on the pole. Not that coke the crack the coke. I hope you know. Everybody can hate me. I'm still going blow. You can talk ish whatever cause you still like the flow. And when I get back, you call late nights on the phone talking about how you blow. Guess you ready to show. You ever stop to think black? She was just a, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, black sign. Peace.